In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for PBNO3 2 plus Fe2SO4 3. This is led to nitrate plus iron 3 sulfate. So the first thing we do is write the balanced molecular equation. I've already balanced this equation here. If you need help, there's a link in the description on how to balance the molecular equation. After we have that, we need to write the states for each substance. And this is a little bit challenging here, and I'll show you why. Nitrates, we know nitrates are very soluble, if you know your solubility rules. So this is going to be aqueous. It's going to dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Sulfates in general are soluble, but this iron 3 sulfate, let's look this up. So here's our solubility table. We find iron 3 right here. This is iron 3, and then we're going to find the sulfate up here. So we'll go over and we'll go down, and we see SS. That means it's slightly soluble. Only a little bit of it will dissolve. For net ionic equations, we consider this to be a solid because only a little dissolved. Most of it's sitting in the bottom of the test tube. Let's go back to our equation. Since this is only slightly soluble, we're going to say that it's going to be a solid. Most all of it is a solid, just a little bit. Sometimes when you see people do this net ionic equation, they'll break this up into the ions. That is not correct. So solid here, lead to sulfate. Lead to sulfate is another exception. When you see lead compounds, be careful. They're often insoluble. This is going to be insoluble as well. So it'll be a solid. And then nitrates, we said very soluble. So the thing to be careful here is with this iron 3 sulfate. Slightly soluble, so we write solid. Next, we're going to split the strong electrolytes into ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. We don't know the charge on lead here, but we do know nitrate. The whole thing is always 1 minus. Since we have two of them, lead has to be 2 plus. So we have three lead 2 ions. I won't write the states right now. Let's do that at the end. Plus, I've got two of these nitrates. So two nitrate ions. And then when we're doing net ion equations, we don't split solids up. So we're just going to leave this as the iron 3 sulfate. So we're going to keep this together since it's a solid. In the products, we have another solid here. So we have three of these PbSO4. Keep that together. And then here, we know we have nitrates are 1 minus. We have three of them. So the iron has to be 3 plus. So two iron 3 ions. And then two times three, six nitrates. And I just realized when I did this calculation up here for these nitrates, 3 times 2 is 6. So this number should be 6. So be careful with that. It's easy to make that mistake. All right, so we have our complete ionic equation right now. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. That's kind of what alerted to me to the problem I had here when I saw this was 6 and this was 2. It didn't look right. So I see 6 nitrates here in the reactants, 6 in the products. And those are the only spectator ions. Everything else it's unique, so I can't cross out anything else. That means this is the net ionic equation for lead 2 nitrate plus iron 3 sulfate. Let me clean this up, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for this lead 2 nitrate and iron 3 sulfate. You'll note that charge is conserved. I have 3 times 2 plus. That gives me 6 plus. Then I have 2 times 3 plus. That's 6 plus. So 6 plus on both sides. Charge is conserved. If I hadn't fixed the nitrate earlier on, charge probably wouldn't be conserved. The atoms, they're also balanced as well. So the trick with this one, you should consult a solubility chart. If you get marked wrong by writing solid, take your solubility chart in, show your teacher. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.